grâce à eux, vous allez savourer le film le plus brillant et grinçant de ce début d'année. D'un côté, l'une des meilleures actrices américaines actuelles, Amy Adams. De l'autre, le réalisateur Adam McKay, connu pour ses comédies potaches avec Will Ferrell. Il s'est aussi illustré dans un genre plus dénonciateur avec The Big Short, œuvre caustique et édifiante sur la crise financière des subprimes qui lui a valu l'Oscar du scénario original en 2016. Il récidive avec Vice, un portrait à charge mordant de l'homme le plus secret d'Amérique, Dick Cheney. Le vice-président très actif de George W. Bush fut également l'homme qui, secondé par son ambitieuse épouse, tira pendant plus de 30 ans les ficelles du pouvoir à Washington. So the second you're going to go after a mystery like that, you have to call one guy, and that's Christian Bale. So uh, once I got Christian Bale and I got Amy Adams in, I knew we were in good shape. Les acteurs, parlons-en, totalement méconnaissables dans le rôle d'un Dick Cheney manipulateur et opportuniste à souhait, Christian Bale livre une prestation absolument stupéfiante qui, après un Golden Globe, fait de lui le favori pour l'Oscar du meilleur acteur. Amy Adams est tout aussi impressionnante, voire effrayante, dans le rôle de l'épouse dévouée, sorte de Machiavello féminin dont on ne sait s'il faut l'admirer ou la craindre. I can't... Go to a big Ivy League school and I can't run a company or be mayor. That's just the way the world is for a girl. I need you. And right now you are a big, fat, piss-soaked zero. That became really fascinating to me and really humanized her. And she became less of a, a political figure to me at that point. She reminded me of my grandmother and my mother in some ways. Uh, my mom and grandmother grew up in Utah. We're tough women, you know, my mom is a tough woman, but also mothers and wives and uh, hard workers. But are you tough My yourself? Tough? Yeah, yeah, I think I am tough. Not, I'm not as tough as Lynn, I'm not as tough, <laughs> I'm not as outspoken perhaps, but um, yeah, I, I think, I think I'm fair, but I think I'm tough, yeah. Mais ce qui rend Vice aussi jubilatoire, c'est sa forme culottée. À mi-chemin entre Michael Moore et Oliver Stone, Adam McKay se joue des règles de la narration et s'amuse avec le montage comme un enfant passage, capable de faire démarrer un générique de fin en plein milieu du film, de faire déclamer des vers à ses comédiens ou de comparer les arcanes du pouvoir à un grand jeu de chamboule-tout. Le président a Alberto Gonzalez, Carl Rove, Karen Hughes a son team. Quite frankly, Gonzalez has no clue. Um, Rove is a hack. Hughes should be in double A ball. So we will have fairly unobstructed access to the Oval Office. I think we're living in such insane times right now. Things are so upside down. Our culture is, is so strange that the idea of making movies that are formalistic or obeying rules just seems Like, why? <laughs> Look where the rules have gotten us. So, you know, we're, we're kind of searching for a different way to tell stories is what we're trying to do. But didn't you feel that, for example, an American audience could say, okay, this is fake, this is not true because it is so unbelievable? Some audiences have said that. I mean, audiences are in the United States are trying to figure out how much of it's true, how much of it's not. Is it all just to put on? Is it, I mean, the funny thing is, it's all true. Uh, you know, all the facts in it are true. Whenever we say something happened, that is what happened. Uh, but I think that style, you're right, for people, they don't know quite what to make of it. You know, there are people who think the film's a comedy, and then there are people who, like you said, think it's a horror film. So I think any, you know, film that I've been proud of has started conversations. So for me, it's more just getting people to educate themselves, to pay attention to what's going on. So we gonna do this thing or what? I mean, is this happening? I believe we can make this work. 
<laughs> Hot damn.